Hello everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. Uh, it's the next day from the last video, so I might join it on to the same video, or I might make it a part two. We'll see how much footage I got yesterday. But I've come back today to the to the big block, and uh, phew, I mean it's absolutely boiling today for January. But I can still see one, two. So just in case you look that way, you know that's a footprint. You can see the three tours that's a footprint you can see the three tours and then there's actually some more going that way so that's one and that's one uh maybe i got a bit excited yesterday but it's still nice i'm still gonna i'm gonna i brought my saw today so i'm gonna cut it into a manageable piece it's quite lucky really because i don't know if that's there's signs of broken stuff here on the way this morning, so I think I did see a couple of the collectors come on the beach after me and I hope they didn't see it and I think they've I think they've tried reducing it by the looks of it. Yeah, but they haven't been successful so they've left it. <sighs> but you can see it's very thick. But I'll get my saw out and I'll see what I can do and we'll go from there. It's a glorious day. Sea is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, I've made my two first cuts there and there. That's all excess. That's all excess. The footprint starts here and there. And there's, and there's one there and there. So hopefully, <clears throat> if I can get rid of that, get rid of that, and then I'll see about trimming a bit more once it's a bit more manageable. So I'm going to to get rid of these two big lumps and I'll see what I'm working with. It's also worth pointing out, as you can see, this is clearly uh, a loose slab on the beach. So I'm perfectly within my rights to do this. And I seen it yesterday, it'd only been up the cliff for a matter of days. If I, uh, with me or someone else, wouldn't have get, got this off the beach. It's only sandstone, so it wouldn't have lasted, you know, a week. The sea would have destroyed it. Oh, Jesus. Now, really, the question is oh, how many pieces do I want to take it off the beach in? Ideally, one, but it's way too big for that. Yeah, I can't even lift it. If I can get it out in two, I'd be happy. I was hoping to be able to reduce some off the back, but as you can see, it's it's not the thickest there. So I think I will take that off there, and maybe a sliver off here.
clean you up a bit. So I've just done two more slices, as you can see. <sighs> there and there. And then that might be manageable, that piece. <laughs> it's about as big as I've ever carried off the beach. So we'll see. I'll get rid of them too. And we'll see where we're at. Might have to take a bit off the back. Yeah, hopefully you can see there. But either way, it's going to be two or three trips because my skill star takes up my full bag. And it isn't the easiest place to get to here. Not by a long shot. One good thing about this sandstone there is it really does split down. If you do a cut, you know you're pretty much going to get the chisel to go where you want it to go, sort of thing. Ah. Oh, no wonder it's frigging heavy. Look at all that in the back of there. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah, it's still a big old lump. Let's show you. So there's my hand just for scale, it's, it's thicker than my hand. Uh. But it is getting smaller. And those footprints are lovely. You probably can't even work them out on the camera, I will take some better pictures but clearly one there, there, there and that what that used to be one but <sighs> right let's see if I can whittle some down I'll put you down for a bit and I'll get back to you when it's bag size right I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it unfortunately the one here that was quite worn anyway came off but I've still got a really nice example there there and one going that way which is a bit worn which was the same as that one but them two are absolutely beautiful I thought there was five or six but there must have only been four or five and do you know for a size like that I've lost one maybe two <sighs> but it can't be helped I'm by myself I'm having to make it work for myself you know and manage to get it off the beach by myself and uh, unfortunately it's too short notice for a lot of people to come and help me they've all got normal day jobs where I get to stroll around on the beach for, for a living, so it's not too bad. <sighs> but I've got all day now, well I've got at least four hours, it ain't even low tide yet, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna move it a little bit, have a break, move it a little bit, have a break, because as you can see this stuff is very, very hard, hard walking over all this, it's all wet and slippery and big boulders and it's just horrible. <sighs> So I might, I'll see what it's like. I might leave the still sorry and come back for it. I don't, I'm just going to see if that'll fit in my bag first. So once I get it all in my bag, I'll let you know how I'm getting on and I'll see you shortly. Right, this is the heaviest bag I've ever had. Oh God, I ain't even set off yet. Whew. It's not uncomfortably heavy because it's a flat piece. So it's not as if it's like an odd shaped boulder digging into my back but I will definitely be taking it nice and steady. <sighs> Plenty of breaks, I've only got about a mile to walk. Jesus Christ. Whew. Right, see you soon.
Right, I'm about halfway there. <sighs> Sad work. It's the hardest trip I've done by myself. <sighs> so, um, it's really hard going. You can either walk on the on the slippery bedrock or you can walk on the sand where you just dig into it. <sighs> I can see the stairs. The salvation is there. Mind you, I've still got to get up the friggin' stairs. <sighs> right, I'll probably do a roundup of all my finds over the last couple of days for you now. I won't record now on the beach unless obviously I come across some at great. Oh, so I'll see you back at the workshop. There's a couple of nice oyster catchers and there's a heron out there, I believe. I've just took some pictures. I'll I'll put some in if anyone's interested in bird life. I like to I like to watch them for a bit when I'm having a break. It's nice. But yeah, really, really good day. Good two days, some brilliant dinosaur related material, which is always absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'll see you back at the workshop.